What is up, YouTube? Yard Show Cycles coming at you with um, Gary Fisher. Uh, so as you know, I buy and sell offer up Facebook, yard sales, whatever I find. And uh, I was able to get this uh, Gary Fisher Sphinx. And uh, we're gonna do this one in stages because I have a ride coming up pretty soon. I don't even know if the seat's blocking me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a very quick cleanup, very quick um, bike check on this one. If everything's working, we're just gonna go ahead and ride it. The ride is in a couple days, so I don't wanna get in the middle of uh, breaking this one down and it not being uh, built back up. So as long as the tires turn, the brakes work, and the gears do their job, um, I'm sending it. I'm not gonna be the one riding it, so I think I'm gonna be okay. I'll be okay. Let's go ahead and look at what we got though, all right? What we have here is a Gary Fisher Sphinx. And from my research, it was one of the first gravel monster cross. And my dog did this thing with the other dog. No barking. There they go. It was like, I know he's gonna start barking soon. Um, guys, if you're gonna sell a bike, Please post good pictures. The only reason I was able to buy this one is because it had horrible pictures and I recognized the logo. That's it. If it would have had good pictures, someone else would have picked it up way before I found it. It's up there for like, I wanna say a month or two on offer up. And take the picture of the drive side, this side right here. Because if the person would have took a picture of the drive side, everyone would have would have seen the Shimano Dior LX. Cranks, front derailleur, rear derailleur. All I saw was this. But like I said, I recognize Gary Fisher or the Fisher brand. So I kind of knew what I was getting. Uh, when I took a closer inspection of it, I did notice the Dior everywhere and I do mean everywhere okay to a point where it even has the seven speed um, shifters I'm not a fan of these because they're not working and I'm gonna have to do something to them and hopefully I don't break them because I've had bad luck with them before and as you know the first thing I do is I put air in the tires just to see if they hold. The tires look like they were semi-new, but they're gum wall, so those got um, those got eaten up pretty well. The seats, the seat doesn't matter. You wanna know why the seat doesn't matter? Because I am a hoarder. My wife hates that I'm a hoarder. But for situations like this, It pays off so I'm gonna just have that fixed and I have a Gary Fisher seat to go with my Gary Fisher things but for right now it's gonna stay there and check cuz I'm able to have it fixed uh, back to this guy once again all I'm gonna do today is give it a quick clean take off all these cables the speedometer and hopefully get this gear working. So, okay. let's go ahead so before and you guys get on me about this particular build, she's not done. Like I need more to her, but I had a ride uh, last weekend and I wanted to make sure everyone had a bike to ride because as you know, uh, I have tons of bikes 
and sometimes people come along for rides who don't have a bike or have a cheaper bike so I have to have bikes ready in case people need to borrow a bike off of me so uh, the Gary Fisher that I bought off offer up uh, I got that one going not the final version um, I'm going to show you what I did. Once again, this is just... I actually like it. I mean... Look, 700 C's or hybrid conversion to gravel drop bars. They're really, really cool. But... I just wanted something comfortable. And the people I go with are not active cyclists. So drop bars are really intimidating for a beginning person. You know, if you're not used to riding bikes, you, you see a drop bar, you're kind of like, I don't feel comfortable with it. So this is what I did real quick. And of course, once again, please note, like this isn't the final version. The original Dior rims are going to go back on her. But let me give you a walkthrough on her. I don't know if I did a, uh, a walkthrough on the... On the on the other part of the video so i'll go ahead and do it now and if i did do it i'll just uh skip this one so it has a, a shimano dior lx three by one two three with a dior uh front derailleur with the old school clamp these always break guys so if you have one of these like be very careful with it because they break really easily and uh they're not that easy to find uh, regular, I think it's just a regular Shimano chain. Uh, the Gary Fisher uh, chain is coming off, so I'm gonna have to re glue that. It's got a seven speed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 11 by I want to say that's a 32, but I could be wrong. Uh, and it is a Cuando. Ando, yeah, I mean, I'm saying it in Spanish just because that's what I feel comfortable with. Uh, lace to um, Wyman's Zach 19 wheels, uh, 700s, retro, there you go, is a safety line. Um, and those are wrapped with, are these Kendas? What are these? Yeah, these are our Kendas. K-O-U-R-I-E-R. -E uh, the thread on there is, I mean, they're basically just street comfort tires, which is what I wanted to do with this bike. I wanted to make it a comfort bike over a, you know, traditional drop bar bike. Um, the calipers, once again, uh, Shimano Dior LX. And this is something I haven't seen too often. It has the wider uh, chain puller whatever you want to call it usually they're really thin this one's uh really really wide uh it's got a blackburn cross rack with the uh, with the side engagement not the center engagement which is pretty it's cool it just gives that that more commuterish feel to it uh original fisher seat bolt and if you can see i don't know if the fisher's coming through uh uh avacent's uh, gel flex I went ahead and just stretched that's why this is like all loose right here because I just went ahead and stretched it all and uh, I just put everything underneath um, looks to be pretty cool I mean I don't know I do have a Fisher seat that I showed earlier so she might get the Fisher seat and then it's got the Finks right here once again just not much information on this guy online just nothing too i don't know it's one of the first specifically 27 inch off-roaders so i just thought that's pretty cool uh, it's got the fisher logo here it's got the yellow uh blackburn water bottle cage you know fisher made in taiwan designed by gary fisher Here's where it gets kind of, you know, whoa. So 
So it has the one and uh, one fourth headset, which is kind of random, but has the original uh, Fisher stem, quilm, whatever you want to call them, uh, goosenecks, you know. So I don't want to. I don't want to cut this off to make the that one hack where you just put on a regular one. I'm going to see what else I could do here. I don't want to cut this. I want to keep it. Uh, staying with the Trek tradition, I guess, because, you know, Trek bought Fisher and Trek also bought Bontrager. I put some Bontrager, uh, I want to say they're townie bars. But I don't even know what to call this because, I mean, they're not cruiser bars. But they're not, they're mustache bars, I guess would be the term. And I went ahead and just put uh, regular Shimano um, levers, which actually work really, really good. Th that's the back one right there. The front one, I mean, just like smooth. They, they're really, they have that snap back, which I like. And uh, old school thumb shifters, nothing fancy here. Just, uh, I got these thumb shifters off a scrapper who I traded for some metal. Obviously, I gave him a lot more weight than he gave me, but it was okay. And then for the front, there you go. There's our front logo again. And once again, she is gonna get cleaned up. Uh, and I'll show you why I haven't done it yet. Uh, it's got that wider, I'm thinking it's for wider tires, just to give you that massive uh, clearance here. Cause you do have a lot of clearance. I mean, just look at that clearance. Uh, it's got, also got the uh, Shimano Dior LX front. I did change the brake pads. So the brake pads are brand new, front and back. And it has the matching, it has the matching hub and matching wheel right there. And a matching um, tire. So it's just a good, clean, comfortable commuter. The reason I haven't done a full re on it is because of that bottom bracket. Uh, I want to get the bearings first. I did ask for help. Um, old Shovel, thank you. He went ahead and told me which ones he used and they look to be the same. So after I get the new bearings, she'll be completely torn apart, rebuilt, not sure what the handlebar situation is going to be. To be honest with you guys, I kind of like this setup. I really do. Uh, when we went on the ride, we did 16 miles and the guy was able to keep up with us. Granted, he was in better shape than me, but he was able to keep up with us with no problem. Bike had some issues that I went ahead and addressed already. But other than that, just a nice, clean commuter starter adventure i don't know whatever you guys want to call this type of bike i guess i mean is it still a hybrid is it still a hybrid i don't know you guys tell me so uh yarsho cycles out oh.